Yo, what's up, buddy? It's your boy Daniel Desen, and we're back at it again with another video for Diablo. Um, we're gonna do the battle pass because I'm not really able to do this, and I'm trying to get it out as soon as possible. I'm kind of out of it. Uh, just got back from my operation, so do forgive me. I'm not using my headphones at the time; I'm just using the controller speaker on the PlayStation 5 controller. So let's go ahead and get over to what we're looking at. It's the season of hatred rising. It has blessings like before. We have the smoldering ashes. The difference with the smoldering ashes this time is you're not required to be a certain level to use them. So previously you would get the tier like right here. You unlock the tier 22 to get the smoldering ash, but you won't be able to use it unless you were like level 80 or 60 or something like that. So they took that away, and once you unlock it on the tier, you're able to go ahead and use it to any kind of blessing you would like. Pretty awesome. And then as far as earning any tears in the battle pass, it's just like before. You can complete the seasonal journey, get some favors, some chapter rewards that will also increase how fast you progress through the battle pass, or you could just kill monsters and do whatever you want. Go about your business and you'll still level up the battle pass by killing anything and doing anything or completing any kind of quests. So let's go ahead and go over what they have in the battle pass this season. So the blessing of its student pass. It's a mount. What a mount on We have the swashbucklers best codes for all classes. We have the soldier and hook, which is for the necro. We have a mount trophy, soul drinker's battle flag. We have a sauce buckler's toothpick. The supported classes as shown, sorcerer, druid, rogue, and necro. This looks like a pirate looking skull cracking profile emblem. We have the soul drinker's croak, which is for the druid, it's a staff. Smothering Ashes at 8, the Soul Drinker's Great Axe, or the Druid Barbarian and Negro. And at 10, we have the Shell of the Soul Drinker, which is available for all classes. From 11 to 20, we have Soul Drinker's Mollus, Druid Barbarian and Negro here. We have the Swash Buckler's Lucky Sash for all classes. The treasure beckons town portal. This does look like one of a pirate. I right, like a tribute to Mishi for in Karas. 20 platinum at 14. The swashbuckler's fishing pole. The pole on for the druid, spirit one and the barbarian. We have empty shell, which is a title. So you get to empty and you get shell. The wicked sharp. Now, for some reason, it's not really showing the emotes this time around. Usually, I can click on here and it'll kind of like give you a preview of what the emote is, but it hasn't been working for me. Smoldering Ashes at 18. Uh, 19, we have the Soul Drinker Staff for the Sorcerer. Then at 20, we have Husk of the Soul Drinker, which is a cosmetic for everybody. It's an armor, all class support. From 20 to 21 to 30, we have the Soldier for Sith for the Necro. Smoldering Ashes at 22. We have Swashbuckler's Good Leg. It's very cool. For all classes, 60 more Platinum at 24. Swashbuckler's Meat Cleaver. It's for Druid, Barbarian, and Necro. We have the Soldier Gris Encantum Cosmetic Focus Sorcerer and like that. We have the Cell Trickers Beacon Mount Trophy. More smaller ashes at 28. Precise resonance. Again, the emotes are not showing this time around, sadly. Falls of the Soul Drinker. Cosmetic gloves. Um, 31 to 40, we have the Soul Drinker's Dagger. For the Sorcerer, Druid, Rogue, and Necro. 
We have more spawner rushers at 32. Hooves of the Soul Drinker for all classes. Some more Bella at 34. We have Swashbuckler's True Beloved. Sword for the Sorcerer Druid, Wolfbane, Rogue, Necromancer. Basically, a class except the Spirit Board. We have the Swashbuckler's Fighting Clubs. Supported for all class. The Good Weight. Barbarian emo, which would not be shown because it does not allow it to be shown for some reason. At 38, we have some more smoldering ashes. Soul Drinker's Flambard. Great sword for the sorcerer druid. Barbarian rogue. And rogue. At 40, we have Skull, the Soul Drinker. For all classes. From 41 to 50, we have an emo for the necro. Balance. We have the Swashbuckler's Widget Stick, which is for the Sorcerer and the Necromancer. We have 60 Platinum at 43, Swift and Certain Druid Emo at 44, a Swashbuckler's Will Trophy, that's pretty cool. Dead Men Tell No Tale. We have 60 Platinum at 46, the Gold Memorial Headstone. This is for when you have it prepared, or hopefully you don't, but when you die, this is what will appear when you need to be revived. Two smoldering ashes at tier 48. Another town portal, Alley Vortex. Pretty neat. And you have revived claws of the soul drinker. I like this because I made a character that's like Vega, and I want to use this as his claw. It's for all classes. From 51 to 60, we have the Soul Drinker's Obelisk, just for the Rogue. More smaller ashes at 52. Mask of the Soul Drinker for a title emblem. 60 more platinum at 54. Horn for the Soul Drinker with a trophy. 60 more platinum at 56. Soul Drinker's Maw cosmetic shield for the necromancer. We have smoldering ashes at 58. Two titles, the lost remnant for players at 59 and at 60 revived hooves of the soul drinker. And then from 61 to 70 we have soul drinker's maw for the sorcerer, druid, barbarian, and 62, we have the Smoldering Ashes. At 63, we have the Soul Drinker Siphon. Siphon. Uh, the Sorcerer and Necro. 70, Platinum. At 64, Goblet of Souls. No trophy. No souls in there, just a goblet. With the Soul Drinker's Pike. The Cosmetic Pole On. Or the Druid, Barbarian, and Spirit Born. Spirit Born, where those remind me of Dynasty Warrior characters. 70 more platinum at 67, two smoldering ashes after that at 68, another headstone to the gold's altar. And at 70 we have the revived shell of the soul drinker for all classes. From 71 to 80 we have soul drinker's axe for the druid barbarian and necro. More smoldering ashes at 72. Another headstone, the Gold's Decay. The Fly Trap is pretty cool. We have 70 more Platinum at 74. The Swash Buckler's Trusty Tricorn, helmet for all classes. We have Soul Drinker's Reach, which is a bow for the Rogue. Smoldering Ashes at 77. Some more titles at 78. Sea Being Vengeance. Another headstone, Down with the Ship. And at 80, we have Revived Husk, the Soul Drinker's Armor for all classes. And last 10 tiers from 81 to 90, we have the Soul Drinker's Greatsword for the Barbarian and the Necro. Two Smoldering Ashes at 82, Soul Drinker's Anemia Totem for the Druid. 70 more Platinum. 
Gate of the first cause of town portal. That is pretty cool. Gaze of the Vizune Emblem title. Soul Trooper's Torch for the Necromancer and the Sorcerer. Three smoldering ashes at 88. And at 89, the revived skull of the Soul Trooper's home. This is for all classes. And last but not least, the Curse of Vizune preset. preset. It's basically the revived version of what you got in the beginning. The horse looks awesome. And it is the chest. Which is probably the chest you see at the end of the Undercity. That's going to wrap it up for this season's Battle Pass. I really hope you guys enjoy. Again, I apologize for the tone and the volume of my voice. I am using the controller of the PlayStation and trying my best to get through this without being in so much pain. Um, as soon as I start feeling a little bit better, about a week or two, you guys will see me back in action. I appreciate you guys' support. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.